What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we have another story on our friend Michael Miker. Our friends over at the CBC have given us a little more information about him, so let's jump into it. I got 500 here. This 20-year vet of the RCMP made a name for himself by infiltrating some of the world's most notorious criminal organizations. Now he's the one behind bars. The arrest today uh, regards the uh, laying of criminal charges on uh, Mr. William Mike. The arrest. He's already back out. He was released today. So how is that even an arrest for espionage if you're back out the one week after, right? Uh, retired RCMP employee. Police allege he used his knowledge and his extensive network of contacts in Canada to obtain intelligence or services to benefit the People's Republic of China. He's facing two charges. Both these are uh, actually uh, believed to be to assist China in identifying and intimidating uh, somebody on uh, Canadian territory. I always wanted to be a Mountie. It's a, an iconic Canadian figure and I wanted some adventure and excitement in my life. In online videos, he talks about his love of undercover work. My first project was simply buying heroin and coke. Uh, let's see if you can do street level stuff, see how you do. I then spent the next several years pretty much doing every criminal act you can do in a public market. After leaving the Mounties, Miker moved to Hong Kong. He runs a... And hey, guess what? He ended up being a criminal. Hmm company that does what he calls asset recovery. I'm a hired gun to, to help uh, either large corporates or governments to get back what is rightfully theirs. Police believe one of his clients is the Chinese government. He was asked directly in this Australian Broadcasting Corporation documentary. I have a commercial relationship with uh, entities that are themselves uh, associated um, in some form or another with uh, with policing authorities in, in China. Chinese interference has dominated. Yeah, no sh You got caught, bud. ...headlines this year, from allegations of Chinese agents operating secret police stations on Canadian soil to allegations of Beijing's interference in Canadian elections. The RCMP says this case isn't about politics, but many of the details of the allegations against Miker... Like, how is this not political? A communist government infiltrated our own national police and this is somehow not political are you kidding <laughs> are still unclear i think it's an important uh step i think that it's essential to hold individuals accountable when they break canadian law and the issue of foreign interference is an important one as we have heard over the past number of months kate the rcmp say they've been working on this case for years Yes, they say that this file has been open since 2021 and that the crimes allegedly date back to a time between 2014 and 2019. On top of that, court documents say that whatever happened happened in Vancouver, Toronto and elsewhere in Canada. But most notably, authorities say that this investigation is not complete. The RCMP says this file is still very much open and more arrests could be coming. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, Kate. Okay, one thing I'd like to highlight here is why is he back on the street? Who else is going to be arrested? Because if this is a huge thing, CTV News the other day was just saying this is like the tip of the iceberg. This information needs to be made public. Honestly, I have absolutely zero faith Marco Mendicino will be able to keep us safe because he's failed Canadians again and again and again. Nothing's going to be different this time. So that's where I'm going to leave it. We've been infiltrated by a communist government. Cheers. Poverty is sexist.